smoker. What is up, friends? Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and to your health and to your well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we want to hear from you. We welcome your phone calls on the bright side. 855-660-4261 is our number, 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early. The phone lines do fill up, and I like to get as many calls in as possible. If you have a success story or if you want to contribute to the conversation, we'd love to hear what you have to say, 855-660-4261. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear us talk about on the program or advertised on the program or suggested or recommended, you can either head over to my website, brightsideben.com, Dot com and check out our shopping cart, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team as well. You can start yourself a longevity business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, including writing off your uh, sample product, writing off your home office, writing off your gas mileage if you're going to meetings. You can also just get your products at the wholesale price if you like for a one-time $10 fee. You can have your own business and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You can also click on the Join the Team link in the upper left-hand corner of the page at brightsideben.com. Check out my blog also, pharmacistben.com. Got a new post up there. should be up there uh, today on an article that I read. Uh, well, I'll let you read it. It's on pharmacistben.com. You can check that out. Okay, so lots to talk about. I want to finish up talking about vitamin K so we can move on to our next bone-building nutrient. And this is a really important nutrient. We'll probably start doing that um, maybe on our next Bright Side episode. got a few more things, a few more loose ends that I want to tie up about vitamin K. I want to tell you how you can use vitamin K, how you can get vitamin K into your system. Uh, Let's see. Well, the first thing you want to know about vitamin K is that there's two main types of vitamin K. One type is made by vegetation, plants. The other type is made by bacteria. There's actually three types of of, of vitamin K, K1, K2, and K3. We're not going to really talk about K3. K3 is a synthetic drug version of vitamin K. Unlike unlike K1 and K2, there is some toxicity associated with vitamin K3. So we're going to... We're going to set that one aside. So just so you know, there's a K1, K2, and K3. We're not really going to talk about K3. K1 is your is your plant version of vitamin K, and then the uh, the other version of vitamin K, vitamin K2, is made by bacteria, especially bacteria that live in the intestines. Vitamin K1 was the first vitamin K that was discovered. Vitamin K1 is technically called phyloquinone. That's the technical name. We just call it vitamin K1. That was the original vitamin K. That was the one, if you recall, we told the story about sweet clover and the discovery of vitamin K back in the 1940s. That was the one that was first discovered, vitamin K1. This form of vitamin K is much less potent than vitamin K2. It's involved in converting solar energy into physical energy and uh, what we call photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, which is the single most, in my opinion anyway, the single most incredible chemical process on the planet. It's how plants turn the sun into matter, have plants take solar energy and turn it into physical stuff. 
And vitamin K1 is a major player in the process. It's, a, it's involved in uh, vitamin K1 is involved in converting photonic or solar or sun energy into physical energy. And the best sources are going to be leaves. Eat leaves. Leaves in general are a wonderful source of nutrition, as are grasses, which can be kind of thought of as a type of leaf. And certain algaes can also make uh, vitamin K1. Anything that grows in contact with the sun is going to provide us with electrical energy nutrients like vitamin K. And this is very important to recognize. I remember when I was growing up, my dad would always say, that grass and lettuce and vegetables, they were rabbit food. And he would be kind of derisive about it. He'd kind of make fun of people who ate a lot of vegetation. Well, it turns out that the biggest animals in the world eat rabbit food. Gorillas and elephants and cows. They're chewing on grass all day, and that's because grass is a powerful, powerful source of nutrients, including nutrients like electrical nutrients like vitamin K1. You'll also find vitamin K1 in dairy, but you want the dairy to be grass-fed because vitamin K1 comes from the grass. There's going to always be a little bit of vitamin K in dairy, but you especially want to be looking for grass-fed if you can find it these days. Breast milk, human breast milk is going to have a little bit of K1 also. Oils are going to give you some K1. Olive oil is a relatively good source of vitamin K1. Soybean oil is also a relatively good source of vitamin K1. Of course, we know all the problems associated with soybeans. So if you're going to get your K1 from oils, olive oil is probably going to be your best source. Because of vitamin K1's relationship to photosynthesis and chlorophyll, which is also involved in photosynthesis, you can always tell that you're getting vitamin K1 in vegetation by the color green. Green is actually reflective of the mineral magnesium, but because vitamin K1 is also involved in photosynthesis, as is chlorophyll, wherever you see green, you're probably going to have K1, and the greener the leaves, the greener the vegetation, typically the more vitamin K. Kale which is super green, so green it's almost purple. Kale is the all-time champion of vitamin K1-containing plants. Cruciferous vegetables in general are going to get you some vitamin K1. Brussels sprouts, spinach, cauliflower, cabbage, these are all good sources of vitamin K1. Spinach is a little tricky because there's stuff in spinach that kind of makes it difficult to, for the body to access vitamin K1. So it's not the best source of vitamin K1, even though there is uh, quite a bit, relatively, oh, a lot of vitamin K1 in spinach. In fact, it's possible that all the good sources of plant vitamin K can contain these factors that impede its absorption, and that is why you don't want to rely, in my opinion, anyway, on vegetable sources for your vitamin K. Additionally, vitamin K that comes from plants is far, far, far less potent than the vitamin K that comes from bacteria or that's found in organ meat or dairy. We'll talk about that here in a second. If you are planning on using veg vegetables to get your vitamin K, it would probably be a good idea idea to steam your veggies or slightly roast them in a pan with some coconut oil or butter. This helps release the vitamin K. It also helps release the vitamin A and the carotenes and all the fatty nutrients. It's always a good idea to mix your vegetation, your vegetables, your greens with oil and to heat them ever so slightly. This is especially important if you're dealing with gallbladder problems, liver problems, fat malabsorption issues. In my opinion, fat malabsorption is one of the hidden crises that we confront in this country, and it's associated with all kinds of issues involving growth and repair. Just another reason why you want to keep your gallbladder, which is one of the most significant structures in the body that's associated with fat absorption. If you've got a problem with the gallbladder, if you have your gallbladder removed, if you have liver problems, if you have pancreas problems, if you have any digestive problems at all, it really is a good idea to make sure you, your body can access these fatty nutrients from vegetables, especially as we get older. For women, these fatty nutrients tend to deposit in the skin where they serve to protect us from the sun and to keep our skin from wrinkling. Vitamin K, by the way, has some really, really interesting anti-wrinkle properties. Just for, just for cosmetic reasons, it's a good idea to make sure that you're getting enough vitamin K. Vitamin K1 has a primary function in the body, and that is to clot the blood. This is very interesting because for a long time, doctors thought that the only thing that vitamin K did was clot the blood because they didn't know about vitamin K2, which is one of the more, it is the most recently discovered of all the vitamins, vitamin K2. Hang tight. We'll finish this up when we come back for our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this.
My name is Kay Swirling, and I am in the early part of my 10th decade. I want to discuss the issue of pharmaceuticals versus minerals and vitamin supplements. I remember a discussion between my mother and me. It was at that time that canned vegetables and fruits were introduced into the U.S. market. It was some time before my mother and others felt comfortable with food in cans. That was also the time when drugstores offered for sale cough syrup and aspirins and not much else. Let's fast forward to this decade, the here and now. Simple drugstores are large corporations with the message that they are the ones who have the power to cure human ills. Meanwhile, the battle continues with minerals and vitamins being the answer to human ills. Who will win the battle? I believe and hope it will be the belief in the power of vitamins and minerals over that of the toxic chemicals in prescription drugs. What do you think? Gold isn't for you? Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources, one of the world's premier gold and precious metal investing firms. I get it. You wouldn't buy gold if you believed that the government is doing a great job, that the Fed will stop handing out trillions of dollars like bailout candy, that Social Security would be there for you. That's not what's happening. You might even pass on gold if the stimulus package wouldn't fuel inflation, or that the dollar wouldn't lose value, or that your retirement would be secure. If all looks rosy to you, then now is not the time to buy gold. For the realists, there have never been more sobering reasons to diversify with gold. Since 2001, the U.S. dollar index has tanked 30%, while gold has risen 300%. Right now, savvy investors are adding gold to their portfolios. You should, too. Find out what they know. Call us, and I'll send you 10 reasons why gold will do very well. Free. 800-686-2237. 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Hi there. My name is Frank Bates. What I'm about to tell you in the next 60 seconds could get me in a lot of trouble. I just created a free video presentation at 123coverup.com that exposes the electricity monopolies and government agencies for what they really are, incompetent, lying crooks that are counting on your ignorance and fear to keep your power bills criminally high. Some have called this a conspiracy. Others have called it a cover-up, and you will be shocked to find out how deep the conspiracy goes. My video at 123coverup.com exposes the truth and shows you the secret of how I beat them and how you can beat them too. Watch the controversial video that thousands of other smart patriots have already seen in the last three months. Go to 123coverup.com and discover one weird trick to slash your power bill and protect your home. Go watch my video now at 123coverup.com before they force me to shut it down. Again, that's 123coverup.com. Hello, I'm Steve Shank. Everybody's heard the statement that what you don't know can't hurt you. But truth is, what you don't know is the only thing that can hurt you. For example, you might not know how our country's wars can hurt you. Japanese radiation and the Gulf oil spill are destroying your seafood. People don't understand how America's 50-year worst drought is hurting them. Our natural disaster experience has proven relief organizations can't take care of the victims. And there's the huge question of how the government will feed all the people that it's promised to feed with no food. What if we made the whole country into one big neighborhood where we take care of each other by taking care of ourselves? Here's the plan. For every new EPAC 60-day food supply that you order, eFoods Direct will send a 7-day food supply to each of two families in your name, free of charge. Go to eFoodsDirect.com or call 800-876-0871. 800-876-0871. eFoodsDirect.com. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. G-C-N. Great talk radio starts here. Back on the bright side, our number is 855-660-4261. Got a line open for you, and we'd love to hear from you, 855-660-4261. Check out my website, brightsideben.com, and make sure you check out the shopping cart with all the longevity products, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. If you haven't tried this stuff yet, what are you waiting for? It's 50 bucks a canister. If you're sick, if you've got high blood pressure, if you're on prescription drugs, you're gonna, and you're like most people, you'll notice results within one or two doses. 
services. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com. Or, of course, you can always call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 and ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team while you're at it and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program and get your products at the wholesale price to boot. Okay, so vitamin K1, it used to be thought that vitamin K, uh, that vitamin K was just a clotting vitamin because all they really knew about was vitamin K1. And then they discovered vitamin K2. And vitamin K2, man, that is the stuff. Vitamin K1's primary bo- role in the body is to clot the blood. It's primarily a liver vitamin. And vitamin K1 can help you a little bit with your bones and, and, and with calcification. So the accumulation of calcium in, t- in the elastic tissue of the, of the body, accumulation of calcium uh, in various soft tissues of the body. But vitamin K2, now that is the stuff. Vitamin K2 is far more potent than vitamin K1. Vitamin K2 is made by uh, bacteria and algae. They used to tell us in pharmacy school, don't worry about vitamin K because bacteria can make vitamin K in the gut. As it turns out, that may not necessarily be completely accurate. Recent research is indicating that even though our digestive bacteria, our probiotic bacteria that live in the gut can make vitamin K2, we, not, we may not be able to absorb the vitamin K2 that these bacteria make. So in my humble opinion, it's a darn good idea to make sure you're supplementing with this stuff considering it is non-toxic. So you got vitamin K1, that's a liver vitamin, it's found in plants is far less potent than vitamin K2, which is involved in all the good stuff that we've been talking about, vitamin K, uh, vitamin, uh, the, all the good stuff that vitamin K does that we've been talking about here for the last couple of weeks. Uh, but as you recall, uh, vitamin K is involved in helping protect from cancer. It's involved in helping protect nerve cells. It's involved in, uh, well, recently, actually, it's been uh, shown that autism, there may be some uh, connection between vitamin K2 and protection from autism. All of the good stuff that we talked about that vitamin K does is really associated with vitamin K2. Now, if you want a little bit more biochemical confusion, you might want to know that vitamin K2 has subfractions called MK7 and MK4 and MK9 and MK11. MK refers to menaquinone. Menaquinone is the technical name for for a vitamin K2, but uh, we're not going to really get into that. But just so you know, if you ever hear the term MK7, MK4, MK9, MK11, these are sub-fractions of vitamin K2. The really good stuff is called MK7, and that's the stuff that you want, and we'll just leave it at that for now. As far as foods go, you're going to get vitamin K2 in its various MK forms in liver, in organ meats, in dairy, Cottage cheese is an especially good source of vitamin K2, and you'll get some in eggs. The absolute champion, the best source of vitamin K2, is something called natto. In fact, natto is such a good source of vitamin K2, it's really where a lot of supplements get their vitamin K2 from. Natto is a fermented soybean product, tastes like crap, really. I hate the taste of natto, but it is a good source of vitamin K, of vitamin K2. Vitamin K that's located in foods is, is in the part of foods that I call the cholesterol complex. I've never really heard anybody talk about the cholesterol complex. And the cholesterol complex is always going to be found in foods that your doctor tells you not to eat. How do you like that? The cholesterol complex is also uh, in foods that are prime building and growth and repair foods. I know I say this all the time, but because we're in such a hypnotic trance about cholesterol, I've got to keep saying this to you guys. Cholesterol is your friend. Love cholesterol. Cholesterol is a prime building substance. Foods that contain cholesterol, like eggs and organ meats and dairy, are prime building foods. Building means growth. Building means repair. Hair. Building means anti-aging. We seem to be obsessed with anti-aging in this country, and we're missing out on the prime anti-aging foods. We're depriving ourselves because of stupidity, medical nonsense. Uh, we're missing out on prime building foods. Not only that, we're poisoning our building substances like cholesterol. If you listen to anyone, including your doctor, who tells you not to eat cholesterol-containing foods, you are depriving yourself of a major anti-aging growth and repair substance for your blood vessels, for your digestive tract, for your muscles, for your brain, especially for your brain, and for your nervous system. This cholesterol complex is very interesting. Back in the 1930s and 1940s, there was a a dentist who wanted to study the relationship between modern lifestyle and dental disease. 
And he ended up going to various countries around the world, and he studied indigenous populations and native people who hadn't been contaminated by processed foods or, or, or any of the pollution associated with civilization. And what he found was that, that these indigenous people didn't have anywhere, than, anywhere near the rates of, of degenerative diseases, anywhere near the rates of osteoporosis or cancer or diabetes or acne or, or dental diseases that we have here in the good old USA. This guy's name was Weston Price. Some of you may have heard of him. And Weston Price ended up becoming a big advocate for changing lifestyle and changing diet, changing the modern American uh, diet to help reduce degenerative disease. He was, a, he was like the godfather of using nutrition to prevent degenerative disease. This was back in the 1940s. He was way, way ahead of his time. He wrote a classic book about his findings called Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. The guy, uh, Weston Price, was actually called the Charles Darwin of nutrition. Anyway, in the last chapter of his book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration, it's a classic. You, if you're interested in uh, nutritional supplementation for degener degenerative disease, this is something that you might want. This is a book you might want to get, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. So anyway, in the last chapter of his book, he writes about something he called a vitamin-like activator, a vitamin-like activating chemical, and he said that this vitamin-like substance helped the body process other nutrients. This was the early days of, of vitamin research. So we didn't really know a lot about vitamins. Vitamin K had just been discovered, and the first vitamin had only been discovered maybe 20 years before Dr. Price was doing his work. Today we tend to take for granted the idea of these essential nutrients and vitamins, but back in those days, this was kind of big news, the fact that you could actually take vitamins and there were actually components in foods that could change diseases and, and deficiencies of these substances could cause diseases. By 1945, all the vitamins had supposedly been discovered, but this was still the early days of vitamin research. And for Dr. Price to make a claim of a brand new substance that turned on or supported all these other, all these other miraculous chemicals was a really big deal. And he started testing foods for this stuff. He called this stuff Factor X. And he found that the highest concentrations of Factor X were in animal fat, butter fat, dairy foods, the organ meats, eggs, especially fish eggs. Now, Dr. Price died a little bit after his book was published, and for many years, there was a lot of scientists and researchers who were just trying to find out what this mysterious factor X was. What they knew was that this mysterious factor X somehow activated minerals and worked very closely with vitamins A and D. Interesting. All right, hang on. We'll finish this up when we come back from our break. Take your phone calls as well at 855-660-4261. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. It's time to get healthy, and your first step towards a healthy lifestyle begins at the Healthy Living Expo, Saturday and Sunday, September 28th and 29th at the Music City Center in Nashville. Get your free tickets at thehealthylivingexpo.com and join us for Tennessee's most comprehensive health, fitness, and nutrition expo. There's over 100 exhibits with information and services to help create a healthier life. Also, more than 25 health screenings, cooking demos, and the latest fitness trends. Plus, visit the Young Booth. Get free tickets at thehealthylivingexpo.com. There's prizes all day on the stages and at the booths, like fitness memberships to an area health club every hour. The Healthy Living Expo, September 28th and 29th at the Music City Center, Nashville. Get free tickets for yourself, your family, your friends, and everyone you know at thehealthylivingexpo.com. Get to the website now, because tickets are $10 at the door. The Healthy Living Expo, your first step towards a healthy lifestyle. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average 19 years of experience, 
Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE. 855-340-7283. September is National Preparedness Month in the U.S. And it's National Savings Month at Freeze Dry Guy. Are you prepared to save? All Mountain House freeze dried foods in number 10 K are now 40% off at freezedryguide.com. These long-lasting foods for emergency preparedness with a guaranteed 25-year shelf life are 40% off at freezedryguide.com. These easy foods for camping, backpacking, hunting, and sailing are 40% off at freezedryguide.com. These delicious foods, freeze-dried to lock in the taste, aroma, and freshness, are 40% off at freezedryguide.com. All cans of Mountain House freeze-dried meats, entrees, fruits, and veggies are 40% off at freezedryguide.com. Be prepared and save 40% now through September 30th at freezedryguide.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. It's time for a home security quiz. What effective home security device is smaller than a coffee cup, fakes out burglars into thinking someone is home at your house while you're away, plugs into any wall outlet, is recommended by many police departments and sells for less than $30? Yes, it's fake TV. This year, about one in every 50 U.S. homes will have a break-in with burglars usually picking the easy target, a dark house that looks like no one is home. Fake TV is a small electronic security device that makes it look like someone is home watching TV by simulating the light from a real TV. Fake TV could be the difference between coming home to a secure house or one that's been ransacked. To get your fake TV for only $29.95 with free shipping, go to faketv.com or call 1-877-5-FAKE-TV. That's 877-532-5388 or go to faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey Guy. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. We're talking about vitamin K. Got a couple more things I want to say. We'll tie up some loose ends on vitamin K on our next bright side episode and then move on to uh, talking about the next bone building nutrient, which is not just bone building, it's bodybuilding. Because bone building is bodybuilding. If you don't have osteoporosis, this stuff is still relevant to you. If you're interested in anti aging, if you're interested in growth, if you're interested in repair, if you're interested in being healthy. So. Dr. Weston Price, he uh, travels around the world. He's looking around for, uh, to try to check out the relationship between indigenous cultures and degenerative disease. He writes a book called Nutrition and Degenerative Disease. And he notices that uh, cultures that don't eat Western foods, that don't eat processed foods, that don't live in an industrial kind of world, they're healthier than Americans who supposedly have the greatest health care system in the world. And he writes a book called Nutrition and Degenerative Disease. The last chapter of his book, he talks about something called Factor X, which he noticed was some kind of mysterious element that was in fatty foods that tended to help the body 
utilize other nutrients, especially minerals, more effectively. But he couldn't figure out what this was. He ends up dying, and researchers continue his work, and nobody can figure out what this mysterious factor X is. They know that butter fat and, and organ meats have something in them that helps the body process minerals, that helps the, bro- the body utilize vitamins A and D, but they don't know what it is. By the way, remember, vitamins A and D are cousins, and they do their work by turning on protein production. They turn on genes. Well, it turns out that this mysterious factor X has some kind of connection with the proteins that are made by vitamin A and D. And this mysterious factor X kind of brings these proteins to life. It animates these proteins. And on top of that, this mysterious factor X also helps the body utilize minerals. This mysterious factor X helps, uh, helps prevent cavities. This mysterious factor X helps teeth get harder. Dr. Uh, Dr. Price actually found that butter oil and cod liver oil could suppress cavities. He found that this factor X stuff that was in butter oil, uh, butter oil and cod liver oil actually changed the composition of saliva and made it more calcium friendly, making, making it easier for the teeth to absorb calcium from the saliva, preventing a dental decay and preventing cavities. You can see this factor X is pretty darn important stuff. Well, guess what? As it turns out, this factor X is now believed to be nothing more than what I'm calling the cholesterol complex. That is vitamins K, vitamins A, vitamins D, phospholipids, all of these substances that we've been talking about now, that I've been talking about for years, that are important for growth and repair and building and anti-aging. The cholesterol complex, as it turns out, is more than likely what Dr. Price was calling factor X. Cholesterol complex is vitamin A, D, it's lecithin, uh, which is an emulsifier for vitamin A and D. It's cholesterol and forms of cholesterol. This is the cholesterol complex. This is factor X, and it is probably the single most important substance that you could ever eat for growth, repair, anti-aging. Everything we like about being alive is associated with this cholesterol complex, or if you like factor X, it is key, key biological stuff, and you tell that to the next bonehead medical professional who tells you to throw out your egg yolks because they have cholesterol in them. All right, there's much, much more to talk about. We'll finish this up on our next program, and uh, I think it's time to hit our phones. 855-660-4261. Yesterday, at the end of the program, we talked to a guy who, uh, where is this gentleman here? who was telling us about something called serapeptase, and I told Eric in Pennsylvania to call back. Eric, are you there? Hey, Ben, yes. Hey, thanks for calling back, man. So serapeptase, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so here's the deal. Now, I'm not sure how you're getting, what makes you think it's a chelating agent? First of all, let me tell you, let's tell the listeners about chelation. When we talk about chelation, we talk about calcification. Yesterday I mentioned how chelation therapy is something you can use to prevent calcification. Chelation means uh, it, it's kind of a magnetic attraction. To chelate something is to magnetically attract it. If you've heard of chelated minerals at the vitamin store, these are minerals that have been magnetically attracted to some kind of biological element and makes the minerals easier for the body to absorb. Chelation therapy magnetically attracts calcium and other minerals out of the body. Yesterday I said how oral chelation may not may be a problem because you can magnetically attract good minerals out of your body. But intravenous chelation is very effective for pulling calcium out of loose tissues and helping reduce this whole process of calcification. And Eric called and mentioned that, uh, or, that uh, chelation can be a little bit harsh, and I can see what he's saying. But Eric, you were talking about serapeptase as being a chelating agent. Agent, and I'm not sure how that would work. Are you positive it's a chelating agent? The way the way I understood when you were talking about the chelation therapy, I thought you you mentioned that for specifically in that instance. I, I didn't know you were talking about it in general. I thought you were talking about that would be one of the most uh, effective things to clear out the calcification of the arteries for people to have, you know, arterial sclerosis. But how does serapeptase fit into that? Serapeptase is actually the most effective way to uh, clean out the arteries and all the cardiovascular system in addition to any kind of fibrin. Right. And it, this is how enzymes work. Enzymes work by clearing out a protein clots, and they're very effective that way, although whether or not serapeptase or any other enzyme 
uh, gets past the digestive tract, I'm not convinced about that. I don't know. I, I, I just don't, haven't seen anything. I've seen uh, some proteolytic enzymes can, can bypass the digestive tract, especially if you not, have, don't take them with meals. Is, do you know for a fact that serapeptase can get through the digestive system? Yeah, because, uh, well, the, I, I read a book uh, by uh, uh, Robert Redfern called The, the Miracle Enzyme. Um, All right. Did he talk and, about serapeptase? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a whole study on on serapeptase, and okay. I mean he 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 has his serapeptase uh, in uh, like a special capsule. It's not enteric coated, but it's it's it, it bypasses the stomach. Got it. Okay, so now the serapeptase, it doesn't work as a chelating agent, though. It clears out clots, and that makes sense because it's an enzyme, and, and enzymes are great for doing that, proteolytic enzymes, protein-dissolving enzymes, but it's not a chelating agent, correct? Correct, but if okay. a person, I wanted to mention that if a person wanted to just specifically find the, the most effective way to clean out their arterial system, and, yeah. uh, and the serapeptase is, is uh, it the most effective, uh, better than chelation. Better than chelation therapy. All right, chelation therapy, the way chelation therapy works to clear out arteries is it prevents calcification, and calcification is associated with cholesterol plaques. So by preventing that calcification, you can lower the formation or reduce the formation of these plaques. That's how, that's how chelation therapy will reduce plaques. Serapeptase would have a completely different mechanism. I was a little confused. I thought you were talking about it as a chelating agent. But thank you so much for clearing that up, buddy. Anything else we can help you with? Yeah, that would be great. I mean, uh, I was wondering, maybe you could uh, kind of question and, and bring for, for an interview the Robert Redfern who wrote the book. All right. Um, I would love to do that. Do you know how to get a hold of him? That would be interesting. Well, you don't know how to get a hold website. of him, do you? Yeah, he has a website with his name, uh, Robert Redfern. All right. It's not Red Ford, it's Red Fern. Red Fern, like got it. Yeah. Got it, I'll look and into that. Search uh, Serapete in his name, you'll, you'll definitely find it. Good deal. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you bringing that up. Take care, man. All right, uh, Todd in Texas, welcome to the right side. What's up, buddy? Hi, uh, I appreciate everything you do, Ben. Um, three days ago, my father had a heart attack, I mean, a stroke. Okay. And I just wanted to talk about... Oh, uh, we can take care. I'll get you some good, I'll give you some good tips. Hang tight, because we got, we got to take a break, Todd, okay? Hang on. We'll come back after this. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 Eight three two six. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pill, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. 
With the well-known shortage of availability in guns and ammo, the question is, will food and preparedness items be next? Now at ProStoresDirect.com. Buy a 32-serving bug-out bucket, and you'll get a prime assortment of Mountain House survival food entrees, including favorites like chili mac with beef and spaghetti and meat sauce, all made with real USDA meat. That's enough food for one adult for a full week, all for just $75.99 with free shipping, delivered in a handy resealable bucket that'll store for up to 25 years. Pro Stores Direct has a huge selection of family-sized food units too, right up to military grade number 10 cans. And we'll give you great deals on new military first aid and surgical kits, portable water filters, heirloom seeds, and all your bug out gear. Always with free shipping to the lower 48. Be ready for any challenge with food security for your family at ProStoresDirect.com ProStoresDirect.com Your first stop for preparedness and survival gear and proud sponsor of the free media. What if it happened? The lights go out and the power doesn't come back. Could you provide your family with the basic necessities of life? We can teach you how at the Sustainable Preparedness Expo. This Sunday, September 22nd at the Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Learn about growing all your own food, herbal medicine, emergency medical and dental techniques, water well hand pumps, seed saving, emergency radio communication for beginners, and other life-saving information to provide you with the knowledge to survive. In the direst of situations, there's a wide variety of vendors offering the latest preparedness products and services. Plus, visit the Longevity booth. The Sustainable Preparedness Expo is an event the entire family will enjoy. For tickets and registration info, go to SustainablePreparedness.com. Enter promo code GCN to save $3 on tickets. Don't wait to be a victim. Plan ahead with the Sustainable Preparedness Expo. This Sunday, September 22nd at the Spokane County Fair and Expo Center. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We are talking to Todd in Texas. You there, Todd? Yes. Okay, so your dad, you said had a stroke. Do you, was it a, a, did they say what kind of stroke it was? Was there any bleeding? It was a- Ischemic, um, it was ischemic, blood, okay. Blood spot, but it had uh, blood inside it. Okay, got it. All right, well, here's, here's the deal. The most important thing you could do for a stroke victim, uh, I'll tell you about supplements here in a minute, but the most important thing you could do for anybody who has a stroke is you've got to reduce any kind of stress, physiologic stress that the body is under. Uh, that means that the most important physiologic stress is going to be through the digestive system. The less he eats, the better off he's going to be as long as he gets his nutrition. That's number one. Uh, as we've said so many times in this program, eating means inflammation. Inflammation is a major stressor, especially if blood is not circulating as it should. So eating less food and especially avoiding food that causes any kind of digestive distress or problems. Make sense so far? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's number one. You want to think energy with a stroke. When, there's a, when somebody has a stroke, it is absolutely vital that all of the body's energy resources are mobilized towards recovery, towards healing. And that means anything that puts a burden on the body has to be relieved, has to be eliminated. Uh, food is, is the biggest culprit. Uh, anoxia or hypoxia, which means low blood oxygen, is another big problem I would have in practicing deep breathing techniques. Now, my, these are, I'll get into supplements here in a second. These are non-supplemental strategies that are very important, not just for stroke victims, for everybody. Avoiding problem foods. You know, this is a very important point, by the way, guys. When somebody has a stroke, that's a dramatic manifestation of a body in breakdown, but we're all in breakdown to a certain extent. So having a stroke or, or, or recovery from a stroke or using nutritional or other strategies for dealing with a stroke are, the same, are, are going to be the same kind of, kind of things that we all have to do. It's just that your dad has obviously has to it, – it's more important that your dad does it because he's got some damage going on. So number one, reducing the load on the digestive system, avoiding problem foods, eating less foods. Probiotics would also be very helpful. Anything he could do to support the digestive system. Digestive enzymes will give him two benefits. Number one, they'll help clear his blood, as we talked about with our last caller. And number two, they'll help him digest his food. That's the second thing I'd be doing. I'd be focusing on fat absorption as well, using uh, uh, bile salts, betaine HCL, uh, pancreatin, lecithin. All of these can help him process and utilize fatty vitamins, which are especially important for the circulatory system. 
system. And then supplements. There's a lot of great supplements. Coenzyme Q10 is a must-have, an absolute must-have for all cardiovascular issues. I'd be using 200 milligrams or so of the oil-soluble capsule. A magnesium, same way, must-have for all cardiovascular health issues. Get on the Osteomag if you're using longevity products, 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams a day. Make sure he's getting some sunshine to get his vitamin D. Uh, make sure he's using vitamin E. 400 international units of the mixed tocotrienol form is the best way to go. And then make sure he's getting enough vitamin C. I'd be just mega dosing on vitamin C of 10,000 milligrams. That's 10 grams, two teaspoons of the vitamin C powder a day. I like the powder better than the pills. It's more, uh, more cost effective. But you want to sip on that vitamin C. Have your dad sip on that vitamin C all day long. Of course, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is absolutely critical for anybody dealing with any kind of recovery issues. Because of its water solubility, it gets nutrients right into the system. Uh, and it's also a great source of the B-complex, which is also very helpful for brain health issues and cardiovascular health issues, especially niacin. You may actually even want to throw in 100 milligrams of time to release niacin with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, so many other things. I don't, want to, I don't want to marginalize the importance of vitamin K or vitamin D. They're also important. Of course, essential fatty acids are also going to be important. All the fatty nutrients... The essential fatty acids and the fatty vitamins should be taken with all those fat, uh, fat absorption support nutrients and support supplements that I just told you about and also with fatty meals, and that will increase his absorption. So you've got the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Magnesium, Coenzyme Q10, um, Vitamin E, the B-Complex, Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Osteomag. You've got a lot of stuff you could do, but probably the single most important thing you could do is reduce the load or the work that the body has to do, especially the digestive of work it has to do so that it can mobilize all its resources towards recovery. Okay? Okay, and they said they wanted to put him on Plavix when he gets out. And I don't you know, know you know what I'm going to tell you about that, but that's that's right. something you got to decide. Plavix is an I, awful well, drug. I want to know what to do instead of that. Uh, it's not like instead. Plavix is a blood-thinning drug. Now, I don't know what your dad's medical condition is. It may be that he's in an emergency state and he needs some kind of emergency measure like a drug. You know, I hate drugs, but there's times in an emergency where you need them. Now, if he doesn't have an emergency condition, then keeping digestive uh, digestive uh, uh, enemies out of his system will reduce clotting. Clotting is a sign that the di- that, uh, blood is getting poisoned through the digestive tract. Uh, breathing will thin the blood. Oxygen is a great blood thinner, guys. Under conditions of, of low oxygen, the blood clots. So just breathing deeply. Practicing deep breathing techniques is a great way to thin the blood. Vitamin E is a wonderful blood thinner. Uh, Omega-3 fatty acids, another wonderful blood thinner. Heck, water is a great blood thinner. So these are all ways that you can thin the blood without Plavix, but I can't tell you not to do the Plavix because I don't know what your dad's condition is. It's high blood pressure. Well, Um, you know. There's ways to deal with that as well. Everything I told you, all the supplements I told you about is for the stroke and breathing and reducing uh, physiologic stress and eliminating digestive stressors will lower his blood pressure. Great. Okay, buddy. Good luck, man. God bless you and your dad. I hope everything works out. Take care, Todd. Okay, uh, let's see. Nancy in Texas. Oh, Nancy. What's up, Nancy? Hi. You called. I did. Um... Real and quick, tell the listeners what you told me yesterday about fasting. I thought it was so cute. Well, yeah, I, um, I I had never really fasted before without having headache and gotten sick and everything. But with the BTT and plenty of water, um, I fasted for I don't know three, four days, four days, and it was it was great. I had so much energy. I've never felt better in my life. Isn't that amazing? And when I started eating again, uh, I noticed that it. It bogs the body down. It's amazing, right? Food because you you know your body has to work so hard to digest food. And, and, and the cutest thing I thought yesterday when I told you when I talked to you yesterday, the cutest thing oh, you said was didn't you didn't even stop. you didn't even want to stop fasting, right? You didn't want to eat again. That's I, what happens. I want to know I want to know how to fast for a month like that guy that you had on the program. Well, that that feeling that you had where you didn't want to eat, you just just tap into that pleasure, that, that sensation of lightness that you get when you fast. And, and you can yeah. do it for 30 days. You don't, you guys, we have a trillion dollar food industry that milks us like, like a farmer milks cows. 
And so when we go drive past McDonald's and we see those golden arches and we feel like we need French fries or, or whatever it is that we're addicted to, it's because we've been implanted with these messages, these hypnotic subliminal messages that tell us to go eat, even though it's not in our health interest. This is twisted and perverted and anti-humanity, this manipulation of our drives and desires. But we can override it through consciousness and through awareness. And that's why I've been talking about fasting for so long. Thank you so much for sharing that, Nancy. Nancy, by the way, for the listeners, Nancy and I have been talking on the phone now for a couple of weeks. Nancy has some inflammatory health problems. And if you have any kind of inflammatory health issues, and most health issues are inflammatory, when you fast, you will feel better. If you have autoimmune diseases, when you fast, you will feel better. If you have cancer, you can starve the cancer because when you eat, you are feeding your tumors. I'm telling you guys, it's so simple. Health is not complicated. We have made it complicated or it has been made complicated for us by evil shamans who manipulate us, who, who, who twist us around like gumbies to extract our life force and then throw us out like yesterday's trash. And it is so rude and it is so offensive, but we don't have to participate in something as simple as fasting. Refusing to eat the corporate swill can make a huge, huge difference. All right, David in California, you got about a minute. What's going on, my man? Okay, I just wondered if you knew any maybe possible solutions for um, a friend of mine who's having severe grand mal seizures. Sure, I got a great solution for you. It's called a ketogenic diet. And it's been a solution for epilepsy and seizures since the 1920s or even before. Hippocrates, uh, the Greek physician, talked about uh, a fasting for epilepsy in the year zero, basically. So uh, we've known about the ketogenic diet and fasting for, using, for uh, dealing with seizures for a long time. Google the ketogenic diet, which is a high-protein, or they call it moderate protein. I call it high-protein, a high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet. It's very, very effective for the ketogenic diet. There's even hospitals that are for epilepsy or seizures. There's even hospitals that are using the ketogenic diet. Fasting can also help. Uh, K as in K, excuse me. K as in kangaroo. E as in Edward. T as in Tom. O as in Oscar. G as in gorilla. E as in Edward. N as in Nancy. I as in igloo. C as in cat. Keto, genic diet, and that's all the time we have, David. Call back Monday. We'll get you some more tips. The B vitamins are also very important for all brain health issues. All right. Sorry if we left you on hold. Uh, got got a bunch of calls today. So give us a call back on Monday. If you were left on hold, just tell our call screener that we left you on hold, and we'll get you up. Uh, we'll take you first up. I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks so much for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. We will talk to you all later. Bye for now. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water. 
filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. 